All right there, Jules. Hey, you know, we go from football body slams from inside Levi Stadium to grand slams. This star grew up in Piedmont, lived in San Rafael for 30 years, and in that time, he became a top five singles player and now the absolute hottest tennis coach in the game. Let's take it north of Napa. The more we're involved, the more we have a chance to do something. Longtime tennis coach and TV analyst Brad Gilbert doesn't just talk the talk. I'm 62. I've been playing tennis literally since I've been three years mm -hmm. old, and I still love hitting. I play every single shot with an eastern forehand grip. On this day, Gilbert is back home in the North Bay, giving a clinic at the Lawn Club in St. Helena. You see these doubles guys do it all the time. They're on top of the net, but it's not really realistic in 45 and older play. Earlier this month, he was on a much bigger stage, watching his newest client, Coco Golf, win the U.S. Open. Now I'm really burning so bright right now. Just like Gilbert predicted when they started working together earlier in the summer. On the third day that I was working with her, someone called me and asked me about how's it going. I said, she's going to win the Open. And she goes, no, Brad, no. It's like you're getting way ahead of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I had just looked at what the date was of the U.S. Open women's final was September 9th, and I wrote down September wow. 9th, we'll be there. While Coco's game was on point in New York, her coach still had some work to do on match day. You try to be a little bit poker mm -hmm. face. Every once in a while, the wife will text me, and she says, you know, you're looking pretty freaking down. Keep your <laughs> head up. Don't look so down. But I try not to get too down, and I try not to jump up and down like a lot of people do after every point. I pick my spots. How about that? Gilbert knows the game as well as anybody. All right, we need a rally here, team. He played 13 years on tour, ranked as high as number four in the world, Coach Andre Agassi to six Grand Slam titles, and worked with Andy Roddick, when he won the U.S. Open in 2003. Tennis is what I love to do, and I hope I can still be a part of it 30 years from now. Same like you, I'm sure there, there's nothing you'd rather be doing. Do you still get to do Mr. Involvement? Every now and then when the body holds up. <laughs> See, keep doing it, it will keep you young, and will keep the brain sharp. That's kind of where I am with the tennis. Coco Goff wow. is the highest-ranked American woman. Before the U.S. Open, she was number six. After working with Brad and after the U.S. Open, number three in the world, number one in doubles. And so, Liz, I say to you, <laughs> put down that microphone, pick up the racket, go work with Brad, oh. and let's see you win a Grand Slam.